Hello everyone, this is I'm Fire Marie, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on custom boot tunes for Eibels today. This video will use settings focused on, they'll either work for 210 through 3 series, because 7 series and 1 series require a little bit different boot parameters to be able to work. So I'm going to start, so I need to get into my files here, not my really big disaster, so I have it in my downloads, if this file is the one that I want. So I'll keep it there, but then I'm next I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to this thing, this site that I really like. It's online converter to wave. So if I find an MP3 I download off the internet, this file this one's really good for getting the right parameters. So I'm gonna choose file and go to my downloads. This is where I downloaded it from. Of course, it doesn't want to show the date created, even though I just changed that setting. But that's because computers do like that. So then here's the Princess Peach Bluetooth theme that I'm going to download, so it's going to up upload. It's kind of a long upload, so it's definitely going to have to get trimmed once I'm done with that, because it's a two-minute song, and usually you'll need about 35 seconds for an Ibo Bluetooth. And it's also, the Ibo Bluetooth is also very compressed and doesn't last very long, so... Now that's uploaded, so what I want to do, for, for, so the bit resolution is the most important part about creating an Ibo Bluetooth. So, to change the bit resolution, you want it to be 8 bit. The sampling rate is 8000 Hz. And for audio channels, you want mono. And usually a good boot tune is about 35 seconds, but, if, but you can always shorten it. If you want something that's a little shorter than that, so. So I'm going to do 40 seconds just, just to be safe. So I'm going to cut to 40 seconds, and then I'm going to make a quick start conversion. So it says conversion completed. And I download. Oh, and I already downloaded it. So it's a WAV file. So now I'm going to show this in folder and copy it so I can get it into the IBO file. So I'll copy. And then here's my IBO file too. It's a PAL SE file. And then I go search where the boot is. So here's the original boot.wave. And then open file, so I'm going to open the file location, which is the openrmw-data-p. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first copy the new file, so I'm going to paste. So now I have the Peaches Castle here, and then if you look at the, pro I'm going to see if I can see the properties on here, 64 KB. It's not use the bitrate because I think the original IBO boots might be copy protected, but if you want to see what your bitrate is, equip properties, details. And if it's the correct one, it should say 64 kbps, like I have here. So then what you do is that you delete the original boot that way, like that. Yes. And then you use the Princess Peach's Castle. <laughs> yep, so that's what it's got to sound like, even though that was a total accident. So I can rename it while I'm doing that. So what you do is I want it to rename it to boot. That is going to be a pretty cool boot tune for a 3 one x not going to lie. But then I go back to my removable disc, and I need to now I need to remove it, so... The kind of finicky thing about newer operating systems is really annoying is that they like to put like, hidden volume files onto your computer for some reason. So what I do is I go to I, and I click a view, SH, and this. I don't know, I don't I have no idea what that is because it's exactly weird. Then I go to the system volume information, I type in IMD and uh, RMDIR system volume information. And that deletes that because your IBO will not boot if that file is in there. So then what I do is I click, as I as you say, clear new hardware. I check that, remove the hardware. And now it should be ready to do in an IBO, like any. And I was actually demoing the software for you. I'll get the camera off my ugly mug and I'll go to her. She wants to switch her mode. So I'm going to click 
that, so here she is. She's old, so it might take her a second to do that. You see, there you go. You, this is the, now, now, now she has the Princess Peach song that I... And this was actually requested by my friend Sir, Sterling Andrews, who has a new black in in Peach, so this is going to be the software that she runs on. Zeki's a very like so, Zeki is a very fitting software for the series at all. Um, this is gonna do its startup thing, so I'm just gonna turn it off since there's nothing else I need a demo here. I'm just gonna turn her off. But anyway, I hope you found this as a helpful tutorial for making custom boot tunes for your own eyeballs. Someday I'll get a, get one done for a 3 series and a 7 series eyeball and they're pretty much the same. They just require different parameters that aren't the 800 kilohertz and whatnot. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and if there's any eyeball tutorials that you're interested in, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.